guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are at the 2022 Chicago Auto Show. Of course, we're gonna stop by the BMW booth because they have that one German sedan that is meant to be a performance barn burner. This is it. This is the all new 2022 BMW M5 CS. But before we get into this frozen deep green metallic special painted CS, let's talk about what's going on here. BMW, they've been doing the business for decades when it comes to German engineering style and of course performance. A lot of people don't realize all of that great heritage when it comes to the coveted victories at the 24 Hours Le Mans, the racing in the German DTM series and everything else that has four wheels and a motor, all of that has dripped into this M5 CS. Now I know a lot of people have already seen and we brought to you the M5 competition. Well, guess what? This is an M5 competition plus some. So what I wanna find out is, I wanna find out, has BMW done enough for the price to the M5 with the CS to make it the ultimate performance sedan? And is this better than the mighty Audi R7? Let's go ahead, let's check out this BMW M5 CS. Right off the bat, this color. This is a custom option. It's around $5,000. It's called Deep Forest Green Metallic. Love how it just showcases the lines. And green seems to be making a big comeback in the auto industry. And I kind of like it. I kind of miss green colors over the years. At the front of the business, you can see how the halo lights have evolved over time. LED with your full LED headlights, of course. Look at the way they styled the housing. Really, really attention to detail stands out with this car. Dropping down, you're gonna have massive air intakes for the heat exchangers that are behind there because remember, we're talking about twin turbocharged V8 power, even more than the competition. Now, when you look along the bottom, you're gonna get this carbon fiber splitter. This is gonna stop air from going underneath the vehicle, but boy, oh boy, does it look damn sexy as well. Sliding across the front, of this lighter BMW M5 CS, because this is lighter than the competition. And when I say competition, just so we're all on the same page, that's the M5 competition. And probably some of the competition from the other German brands. But you'll notice on the CS, you're gonna get this nice kind of bronze, goldish uh, sh shade of color on the grill openings, that nice kidney-shaped grill design. Look at the way the hood, all the body lines come together nicely. Special badging M5 CS. We're talking about that club sport. We're talking about competition. And that's what the M logo is all about. It's all about that competition on the racetrack, motorsports. The lower section, the way they kind of etch that opening in the lower fascia with full functional venting to bring all that cool air with the flat black grill. And then you'll see how that carbon fiber splitter goes from one side to the other looking really sharp. Now, when we get up onto this hood, look at the power bulge. This is something you're, every guy, every girl wants a little extra bulge. You're getting that bulge on the hood with the carbon fiber heat extractors. Not only do they look sexy, but they're also, also gonna drag hot air from underneath the hood. Coming around the bend, of course, if we wanna go lighter, not only are you gonna do that with body parts, you're also gonna do that with wheels. Feast your eyes on these absolutely gorgeous wheels. It's got that nice bronze gold, goldish tinge to it. And then I really love the Y-spoke design all the way around. And these wheels are wrapped with those Pilot Sport 4S tires. Gonna give you that grip, that stick that you want, 20 inch wheel. And if you're wondering, well, what do we have up front? You're looking at 275 on the width and then a nice 35 series sidewall. That caliper, massive in size, six piston with the M badging. Remember, M stands for motorsport. And we have full carbon ceramic brake rotors larger than a Chicago deep dish pizza, which I just ate here at the auto show. That right there shows not only performance underneath the hood that we're going to talk about in a few seconds, but also that braking component as well because braking is very important for a track capable car and that's technology that came from formula one in your bmw m5 cs lighter wheels lighter rotors that's less rotating mass that's going to give us quicker steering 
at all four corners, plus you're getting a lighter vehicle overall compared to the M5 competition. Coming down the side, I'm gonna have Lori kind of swing it around to show how they flare out the fender. You do have that nice gold tinge with the M5 CS badging. Full carbon fiber on your side mirrors. And the way that BMW sculpts their side mirrors, it is almost like a piece of aerodynamic work done that is like a wing that you would add to the vehicle, how they shape everything with your LED lighting, carbon fiber roof. Now, if you wonder, well, what's the point of a carbon fiber roof? What you're doing is it's all about lowering the center of gravity. So that carbon fiber roof is gonna sh shave about eight pounds from the top portion of this M5 CS, which is gonna give us a lower center of gravity. As we work down the side, this freaking paint job is simply stunning. Gloss black around the window treatment, Working our way towards the rear of this M5 CS, I want to just show you what they have done. Nice, tasteful, but also fully functional. So you're getting a full carbon fiber trunk lid spoiler. This is going to help give you some real downforce. M5 CS badging, full LED lighting. And then as we go all the way down, probably one of the sexiest rear diffusers on any car I've ever seen for the street with carbon fiber and that quad tip exhaust that's been specially developed and tuned for the CS. But while we go ahead, let's pop the hood and talk about some horsepower numbers of this performance sedan. All right, guys, we got that hood popped, carbon fiber hood, shaving weight off this car. Come on in and let me show you what we got. I'm gonna have Lori show the underside of the carbon fiber hood with the M5 CS badging on the underside, but look at what we have sexy engine cover for some sexy power. We're looking at that 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 now pumping out 627 horsepower, 553 pound feet of torque. It's all gonna be routed through that ZF eight speed automatic transmission, zero to 60, 2.6 seconds. Quarter mile is gonna blaze by at 10.7 seconds at 129.7 miles per hour. MPGs, 15 in the city, 21 the highway, and the car weighs right around 4,089 pounds. Of course, comparing this even to the CT5V Blackwing, you're looking at very similar performance numbers. The Blackwing is gonna have more horsepower, but, when you look at the big picture of how the whole puzzle comes together, gonna be interesting to see how those two compete on and off the track. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the interior and see what the CS brings to the M5 table. All right, guys, we're inside this 2022 BMW M5 CS. I know you're saying to yourself, Joe, this is one heck of a performance sedan. It's gonna be tough to choose between this the CT5V Blackwing, and all the other competitors, especially from the German Euro brands like Audi. How much is it though? Well, first, before I tell you the price, remember all that carbon fiber and uh, lower weight, especially on the interior, you're shaving over 200 pounds from your standard BMW M5 competition. But let's see, what about price? MSRP, I hope you're sitting down, $148,000 for the way this one is optioned, but let's see what you get to the door panels. Look at the green ambient lighting. Really, really nice touch on the door panel. You got carbon fiber design all the way throughout. The red contrast stitching, part of that motorsports heritage. And then of course you're gonna get the Harman Kardon sound system and a door pocket that's large enough for two Bavarian race prepped pretzels and a bottle of root beer to wash it down. Going from the door panel to the dash, the stitch work, the ambient lighting, the carbon fiber, the CS badge, and I'm digging the black chrome finish, no gloss black. And then look what we got for infotainment, 12.3 inches. And it's not just about entertaining yourself, but it's also about having the performance data. You have your G meter, your horsepower gauge, torque gauge, you could see that with the adaptive dampers, all four corners, you could change from the different modes and you could go through all of those modes from road to sport and then you hold it down. Where are we going? We're going to the track. And as you can see, that's where it's going to change the different systems within this setup. 
and you go into activate the track mode and obviously the car needs to be on for us to fully go through all of those great features go back to home there we are hit car look what we got there is our m5 cs you could go into the m menu set up all your configurations exactly the way you want it chassis steering you want sport you want comfort you know how we do it here on ready's rides we want it in sport you could actually do two-wheel drive have this be a real wheel drive performance sedan like the cadillac blackwing the ct5 v blackwing or you could do four-wheel drive sport like an audi rs7 that's the technology you get nice bright red start stop button little bit of gloss black nothing too crazy then you're going to have your tft display with all the ac controls dual climate heated seats ventilated seats of course the stitch work carbon fiber a bucket of carbon fiber has been poured all over this thing on the center console and then even the the nice touches like you open up the slider you got wireless charging two cup holders a 12 volt and then you of course you're going to have that ZF eight-speed automatic transmission specifically tuned for the Z, this CS from the German brand ZF with the M badging. That's your BMW direct drive control knob, new operating software. Love the leather material everywhere. Open this up. And what we have under there is some storage. Remember, this is a pre-production, so some of those things are gonna be a little different than what you're gonna find in this unit compared to the one that you buy on the showroom floor. Seats, you see that? That's the Nürburgring. They actually have an image of the Nürburgring in the one piece back race seat, carbon fiber, Alcantara, stitch work, carbon fiber in between your legs. Has your girlfriend ever said to you, I wish you had some carbon fiber in between your legs? Well, guess what? You could have it and she could have it too with the awesome bolstering, full electric assist, Wonderful Alcantara. No, there's not a sunroof. That's because this is a carbon fiber roof. But why don't you come over to the business side of things? I want to show you behind the wheel of this BMW M5 CS. All right, guys, business time in this M5 CS. What's going to welcome you? You have this beautiful sill plate with the M badging and the LED lighting to let you know that you did it right. In our pedal box, we got a large dead pedal with aluminum, brake pedal, and throttle. And then, of course, in these race-inspired seats, you have full electric assist. They wish they had this at Le Mans in their race cars. Two memory seat settings, so if you're going to be crazy enough to let somebody borrow your M5 CS, you can let them have their seat setting too. I say, hell no, go ride a bicycle. I feel like a race car bug snugged up in a race car rug because the seats are wonderful. I'm six feet tall, plenty of headroom steering wheel i just want to hang it on the wall in my house and i want to just hug it every day alcantara all the way around you got the motorsport stitching the m badging and then of course paddles carbon fiber paddles on the actual steering wheel itself to go up and down the eight speed and then we have that digital dash with all of the clear display and readouts you could toggle through a plethora of information and you got a head-up display. Plus, did I tell you about these seats? I almost don't want to get out of them. I want to take one home and use it as a seat in my office. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in the back seat. But before we do, we got M badging on our seat belts. That's an additional five extra horsepower. Motorsport, baby. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in the back seat and see how your passengers are going to scream their lungs out as you break the sound barrier in this M5 CS. Hi guys, back seat time in this BMW M5 CS. And I'm telling you, you thought the back seats were aggressive? Look at the, excuse me, the front seats. The back seats are just as aggressive as the front seats. Crazy bolstering, great leather, the stitch work. And then look at what you get to stare at as a passenger. The one piece race car back, full carbon fiber. Then you have a command center with rear AC, a race Twinkie tray. So that's what you're gonna throw at the black wing drivers as you pass them up. We got a 12 volt, two USB-Cs. I could look at this all day long. I mean, look, look, I just love rubbing my hands on it. We got AC vents also in the frame rail, which is a nice addition. Our ambient lighting is just lighting up just so perfectly like a Christmas tree. Two more Twinkies for those pesky Audis and AMGs. No center armrest because the bolstering 
is just ridiculous here. I mean, look at this. It holds you in place. But why don't we go ahead, let's check out the trunk and see how usable this M5CS really is. All right, guys, time to check out what we could put in the trunk. And that's what makes the M5CS so usable is the amount of trunk space in this high performance sedan. So think about it. A lot of people usually have a car to take them to the track to use their track day car. This could be the car that you drive and put all the track day goodies in the trunk while you turn your fast laps and then you get to drive it home at the end of the day. That's what makes this extra usable. But when we're comparing this to the Cadillacs, when we're comparing this to the Audis and the AMGs, let me know what you think. Has BMW done enough for the price with this M5 CS? Do you think they should have more horsepower? 700 horsepower, 800 horsepower, maybe 1,000 horsepower. Put that in the comment section, what you feel about how they tune this M5 CS. But you know what? We're not ready to go on throttle. Hopefully we'll be getting one of these as a press fleet vehicle. We'll see how that works out. But we are at the Chicago Auto Show and if you're ready, let's wrap it up right here. So thank you all for tuning in. Thank you if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. We appreciate you. Of course, we gotta say thank you to Lori working that camera like a champ. Put it in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for working so hard. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.